Good morning, Pisces Studio. Sending my blessings. Light my stay. Sending all y'all. I send each and every one of y'all to you and your families. Okay? Health. Safety. Prayer, honey, for all of y'all to follow the rules that the television is telling you. Gear up. Wash your mask. Get some gloves. Okay? Please, go to the store and buy what you gotta buy. Alright? Because they're gonna close up. Believe me. Leave for others on the shelf. Be kind. If you just learn and listen and they tell you not to be with your families on Thanksgiving, why the hell are you with them? Do you want them to die? What's wrong with y'all? Y'all don't know what these kids and where they been at, who they parents. Y'all don't know nothing. What's wrong with y'all? Okay. I thank y'all all. All. Who go into my web, share my videos, watch my videos, like my videos, give me thumbs and subscribe. Thank you a million and one. Thank you for all those who donate to my channel. Thank you for your donations. All right? Uh -uh -uh. Thank you for all those who go into my web and purchase my jewelry that y'all need to be wearing. Okay, your chakras. Y'all need to be in your chakras. If y'all don't do nothing, y'all need to be in your chakras. Protection. All right? My sage. All right? My Palo Santo. Right? Pisces Studio. I got my chair. T-shirts. Pisces Studio. Here we go. I got my, my t-shirt that I'm getting ready to put up. All right? Pisces Studio. I love this calendar that this young lady made. Support her. This beautiful calendar. It is beautiful. It When I mean beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to be making my own tarot decks. I'm going to make twin flames and soulmate tarot decks. All right? Um, everybody, anybody that knows about twin flames and soulmate, if you go on Etsy, they're running you $65. All right? They damn sure are. So I'm going to make some decks and sell them. I got this young lady that I did a reading that wants to make them, and I think she's going to do good at it. All right? If she needs my help, she needs to let me know. Um, also, the world's about to change and we're going to see better come. Better is coming. Okay, you ain't going to see all that chaos you've seen. Fighting and everybody fight for their rights. You ain't going to see that. I bet you won't. I guarantee you won't. How much you want to make a bet? That shit ain't going to happen no more. When you got the devil around you and leading the world, that's what you're going to get a lot of devil shit. Damn. All right, here we go. Pisces. It's in the house. Spirits. My first three cards is about you and the spirits. You in the spirit. Let's see what we're talking about. I had a friend that I had not talked to in years, and her name is Kalisa, and um, she called me up yesterday. So it was weird, but anyway, she called me, so I let people grow when they disappear. They can grow. I ain't got time to chase no damn body. I can be a cold-ass bitch, and I don't play games. I'm straight up. I don't play no games with no damn body, all right? All right, Pisces, let's go. 
dwelling, dwelling, dwelling in the truth. I stand in the light of the truth. You stand in the light. You speak the truth. You believe in the truth. Okay? Stop it. You are stepping right into your stillness. My power is born in a major of being silent. So stepping into being still, being still, that means listen. If you still enough, you're going to know the answer to what you seek it. You will know. By being still, you're going to know a lot of stuff about you. A lot. A lot of your answers is when you at peace and when you still. All right? Stand in your truth and be still. Stand in your truth and be still. That means believe it and be quiet about it. Believe it and know that you, your intuitions are not lying. Communication freely. I communicate from the depths of my being. So, dwelling in the truth. I stand in the light of the truth. You believe what you believe and can't nobody change that. Okay? You know what you know. Uh, standing still, standing into the stillness, the power, your power is born in a major silent way. So all along, you used to always be the one speaking and talking, and, and you didn't give nobody time to say nothing in relationships and anything else, all right? Trying to win a battle, stop it. Because the more you stay silent and not say nothing, you winning, okay? Stand in your truth, believe in what you believe in, okay? Because by you doing that, you're going to learn to communicate freely because now you're listening. You're paying attention. You're looking at the person when they talk to you. It's a way that they stand, their body the way they stand and they put their hands or however they shake their hand and do this, you got to know how they coming to you. So it's telling if you be still enough and quiet enough, you will be able to, to communicate in a better way because you're listening and being silent and being still while others are talking to you. All right? It's important that you maintain that. All right? Because if you don't, you lose it. You, you, you're lost. All right? Do you understand? You're lost. That means you're losing the point. You're not learning. You're not seeing it for what it is. You got to understand. You got to know. All right? Do you understand? Um... All right, I'm going to uh, use, this deck is so amazing. This is the deck to have. For those who read tarot cards, you really need this deck. It is beautiful. And um, this Thanksgiving, I'm going to be going live, live. All right? And I'm going to be answering one question. One questions. One question. All right. For whatever I make that day on donation, it's one. I ain't gonna say donations. It's one question. Okay. One question. 
it's going to go that way. And I'm going to start one question for $10. And whatever I make for that day, I will donate it. Okay? It's Thanksgiving. We're going to donate that money. To the Humane Society, which is my babies, my animals. Or to Salvation Army. Those who help all. Here we go. Dwelling in the truth. You got the nine. A what? A earth. All right? Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. All right? Um, this lady looked like, um, she got it all going on. All going on. Let me pull out the rest of the cards. We'll tell you what you're doing. Someone is enjoying their fruit and their labor. Someone worked hard. That has led to a luxury life. Someone's buying themselves something special. Happy and successful. Self-employed. Enjoying that, that um, solitude. Come on, reading. Talk to me, damn it. Talk to me. Someone again. I'm going to say it again. Someone is looking at everything they done. That hard work paid off. Self-employed. Buying them that gift. I wonder what that is. Buying them self a gift. Whoa. It's going to be huge. Huge. Love it. Um, then you got the night. The night. Of what? You got that night of fire. Aries Sagittarius. I mean, Air, yeah, Aries Sagittarius or Leo. The night. And boy, you moving, honey. You moving, baby. That night is flying. Damn. Then you got the three of what? A fire. Your car is bouncing. Bouncing, honey. Let's see what we're talking about here. Pisces. You've been through it all, Pisces. But this person here, huge. It says, dwelling in the truth. I stand in the light of the truth. And under what you get, you get Earthside Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, Pisces. Enjoying the fruit of your labor. Okay? Hard work. That has led you to luxury, a luxury life. You never thought you'd be living the way you're going to live. And how you living? Starting off huge. Okay? This is somebody already that is where they want to be. And they've been working hard. Opening their own, working for themselves. Like me. Like me. And I thank God for the journey he has taken me. And I thank God you for Pisces for bringing me where I'm at. Right? Led into that luxury life. Buy yourself something special. I don't want a toy. I don't want to buy myself toys. I don't want a car. I want something huge. Huge. Okay. Yes, I do. All right. Um, buying yourself something special, happy and successful, self-employed, self-employed, happy and successful, self-employed, doing it, doing it, honey. You got that? Doing it. 
all right? Enjoying that solitude, that, that being still, being on your own, standing, elegant, shining like the star that you are, being in control of you and your estate, all right? Someone has it all together. All together. All together. Stepping into silence. Stillness. And that's what I do. I don't know nothing about nobody, but I know I stand in my power. And I stay silent. Because I don't know. When I meet you, what you got to say, but I need to listen. You know why? Because I need to know how you coming. I need to see how you standing there, how you looking and what you doing with your hands or where you got your hands at because it's telling me a lot how you coming to me. I need to see you for the truth. And that's what's important because I know I got a lot of shit going on. And it's all positive. I learned to cut off the negative because it's not serving me. All right? And I know a lot of people need my help, but I also know a lot of people want to play me. All right? I know the people that need me, and I also know the people that want to play. So I'm going to sit y'all. Don't ever think that Miss Lisa's stupid. Melissa is on the truth. I got a lot of people to come to me, and I'm going to say it again. I got a lot of people to support me. It's like they say, you got a lot of followers, but who are your true followers who really support you? I keep my eyes open, wide open, and I see how you're coming at me. All right? Why? Because I look at y'all Pisces like me. Therefore, I know there's two of y'all the night in the dark. So I got to see how you're coming at me. And I also know that y'all could be any sign. Any sign y'all want to be. Would you switch on me? Are you really supporting me? Do you want the best for me? Because you see my work. You see what I can do for you. And many of y'all have done a lot for me. Y'all truly have supported me. How are you coming at me? I stand in my truth and I stand silent and I'm listening to you. Okay? And that's what I'm telling each and one of you, every one of y'all. Y'all Pisces, y'all can be anybody y'all want to be. Watch and sit still and listen to people. How they move, how they speak. Look at that, because it's telling you how that person really is coming at you, all right? And I know because I stand in my truth, and I know because I am her. I work hard. I'm constantly working. I want you to know what you, what you are and who you are and your worth. I want you to see how powerful you are and that you can do everything I can do and better. But I also got my eyes wide open, wide open to this whole universe. How you coming at me? Do you really need me? Do you need me? Do you? Are you helping others? Or are you all about you? 
Are you afraid to let a dollar go out of your hand to help? How do you see yourself? How do you see me? Who are you? You got the night of fire, fire sign. Every Sagittarius or Leo. You're confident, okay? You're confident. You're going for whatever it is you want to go. You're going full speed. It's nothing stopping you. You are, even if you're tired, you're still going to that event that you are required to attend. I told y'all I got an event to be December the 4th. And I'm telling you no lie, God says, you better be there. And yes, I am going geared up. Honey, I'm going to have me black gloves on. Sparkle mask, get the fuck up. Yeah, I am. Yes, I am. I will have everything in my little pocketbook with everything I need. I will go in there and I'm going to wipe everything. I will take my own spoon. Plastic fork. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. And they better have on some gloves. Because if they don't have gloves, I'm not eating nothing. All right? I don't want nobody all up on me. No. While I dance, I will dance tonight away. If they got some music I like. Hey, somebody want to pop off of me? What's up? What's up? Because I'm going to be a sharp, sharp princess queen. Walking my throne. <laughs> What's poppin', Pisces? And I will be taking pictures. That day, I'm going live. Because y'all going to see that shit live. Live, live. It's saying, trust your instincts and stay focused. Then I say that? In this passion relationship. Whoa. Whoa. Easy. Check this out. So you got it all going on. You self-employed and everything. It says it right here. It says it here, baby. Clear as day. And these are spiritual cards. All right? You got it going on. Look at you. The queen. The queen. And I'm not saying the queen. This is the nine. But it represents someone put together. And... You're standing for the truth. You're like, shit, look, I'm where I'm at. Where you at? What you coming to the table with? All right? Everything you ever done, you done. All right? So you sitting there doing you. All right? But, and it says here, be quiet and be still. Be quiet and be still. Listen to what this person is coming to tell you because this person is coming to you and it's coming fast. Fast. All right? Um, they look at you like you confidence in yourself. You got this passion about you. Very fiery. Um, this person is um, very charming, uh, but restless too, okay, at an event that requires immediately action, he is, this person is coming to you, and he or she is going to be there, already take action towards you, all right, and it says, trust your intuitions, and stay focused at this event, or somebody that's coming towards you, Right? With this passion and relationship they want to give you. And I'm going to say it again. It's sad 
Trust your intuition and stay focused. And on that car on the top, it says, standing still. All right? It's telling you for a reason. It's telling you for a reason. Stay focused because someone is coming to you and they coming fast towards you. And this person has it all like you probably running their own business, working hard at what they want to do to come to you. And they coming to you at an event, it says, event. And they're going to be at this event, right? Coming to you real nice and talking sweet and this and that, blah, 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 blah. And guess what? But it says stay focused, right? Because this person coming with passion to you. Oof. They coming, they coming hard on you. Whatever this, I'm going to the event. And that's the only event I got planned to go to. So at this event, I don't know who, I know a lot of people here. All right? And they know me. I'm going to an event December the 4th. All right? And guess what? Whoever is going to be at this event. And they got to be from here because, I don't know, maybe she know people from out of town. I have no clue. But whoever's going to be at this event, honey, they want to they wanna come at me, like, passionate, confident, um, very um, charming. Um, but at this event, it's like they're going to be restless. And when they see me walking there, they're going to be like, what's up? That's her. Who is she? Whoa, Miss Lisa, how you doing? I ain't seen you in a minute. Really? I ain't seen you in a minute either. How you doing? Uh-uh. They want to come into action with me. They want to, um, you know, talk to me. But my intuitions, it says, yo, Miss Lisa, take it easy. Follow your intuitions and stay focused. Okay? Because this person's coming with a passion. Want to have a passionate relationship with you. What? I, I, hey, I don't know what they want to do, but they coming fast at me. And I mean, they flying. This, this, this right here is coming at me. And this person is put together. All right? So I want to thank my goddaughter for inviting me to her mother's 50th birthday party. Thank you. Because I'm looking forward to go there. Jazz the fuck up. What? Yes, I am. I'm having me a good time. All right? And um, this person's playing this shit with you for the long time. I, what? I'm ready excited for this. I am super excited. Whoever's coming to me is coming to me nice. And that's what I'm talking about. Come on now. Come to me nice. Please do. Okay. But it says you're going to be confident when you talk to this person. All right. You, you're going to be floating with the conversation. Floating. They're going to want to talk to you. They're going to want to communicate on a deep level. They're going down in their soul talking to you. Huh? On a deep level. Wow. I ain't seen that in a long time. Somebody talking to me on some deep level. Um, they got this plan, and this this is for the long term they want. All right. They um, it's like um, an abundance from a past choice. Whoa. It's like um. Proud, pride in their success of their labor. Well, be um, it's saying this person um is coming to you fast and is telling you that this is like a long term relationship. This is gonna be a long term, and it's abundance from your past choice. Somebody from your past 
whoever this is is coming right. I, listen to me. I ain't talking about somebody. I'm, I am going to say something to you right now. I don't know what it is or who it is or whatever it is. All right, Pisces? I know how y'all always say, I don't want nobody for no fucking past. And I'm not literally talking about, it don't have to be somebody you just broke up from. It could be somebody from way back then. Or it could be somebody that wasn't it wasn't in a relationship with you, but um, you work with this person, you know this person, all right? And y'all never looked at each other like that, all right? But someone is coming. This says like he, I'm going to say it again. Planning for the long terms. This person wants to be with you for a long term, all right? And um, in abundance from past choice, okay? Um, and they take pride in what they do. And they success and they labor. They taking pride from where they come from. They took pride, honey. They they are proud from where they come. They worked hard at this. They worked hard at being successful, being self employed. They've been working hard at this. All right. And um, but it says um. It's telling you whatever's coming next in your life, all right, to make this decision and make it wise, all right? So they already know you the shit. They know that. They know that you are the shit. Do you understand? Whatever it is, Pisces, that you want, it's got to do with your money. You're getting that. And whatever it is, that you want, or you want to be self-employed and all that, I'm going to tell you something. This person right here is self-employed. Then did the dream, whatever it was they was planning on doing, they came to that. All right? They are there in their life. They're there. They're there because it says, enjoy the fruit of your labor. And it says, Work hard that has led you to a luxury life. All right, check this out. And it's also saying you're buying yourself something special. All right, maybe somebody bought a house, maybe somebody bought a car, maybe somebody added a pool to their property, maybe somebody bought a, a business, something you bought that you deserve, that you want it. And could never get it. But now you got it. All right? It says, happy and successful. Self-employed. You're happy and you're successful because you're self-employed. All right? Enjoying solitude. Enjoying being alone. All right? Because you have to go deep within you. All right? It's a Pisces out here that's really on their shit. Grinding on their shit. But it's telling you there's someone and you are walking into a room with confidence, passion, like you the shit. Pisces, you the shit when you walk up in that motherfucker. We rolling. You know you the shit. All right? And it's saying you saw when you talk to people, it's like you bringing them to you. All right? And yeah, you might not want to go to the event, but you're going to show up anyway, right? Because it's required of you to go. You told this person you was going to show up. They counting on you to be there. All right? Because whoever did this event, they had to cut down the people because of this virus. All right? But they still having the event. And you told them you was going, so they got that special chair for you to show up. They wait on you to walk in that door. All right? And when you walk in the door, it's like this immediate action that you're walking in and people are looking at you like, whoa, who is she? How you doing, Lisa? Who is she? Y'all know her? Like, damn, where she come from? All right? Yes. All right? But you 
trust in your intuitions and stay focused. All right? Because someone that's going to be attending that party is going to be checking you out. And they're going to be very charming. This person has their own shit popping off just like you. All right? You got the three of fire. You got the knight of fire. You got the three of fire. And here they go. This person is one person here. This is all someone is coming into one. Because it's fire right next to each other, right? And it's showing that whatever it is, this person wants a long-term relationship. Your money is going to be long-term, not short. You're going to be very successful. All right. Um, your abundance. All right. It's going to be big. And you making the right choice from your past. Learning from your past. Making that right choice. All right. Because now you're focusing on what you had in your past. And now you saying, is this what I want? Was it right for me then? Is it the truth? All right. Um, taking pride in being successful with your labor, honey, you going to be good at what you're doing and where you're going. And it ain't going to be short term. Your shit is going to grow and grow and grow. All right. Being patient as you make this decision of what's next. Somebody wants to come to you, right? With this fiery sign. All right? And they coming fast. They see who you are. They may know about you or they asking about you or inquiring about you. But this person want to really get to know who you are. And you see the horizon. Honey, your shit went from the ocean to the sky, damn it. Yes, it did. And guess what? It's like the full moon. It's showing. Everything is showing for you right there. It, that ain't the sun. It's the moon. The sun is yellow. This is white. The boat is off the water and it's in the sky. In the horizon. Honey, this is... It's like you are taking off. And it's saying you... This is going to be long term. Everything that's coming in your life is going to be long term. Relationship. Wealth, career, choices you made. Look at it, focus, be still. From your past, it's going to push you forward to acknowledging a lot of things. And you're wide awake now. You're like, shit, I ain't trying to mess with this, but I know what I want. But you never know because only God really has it all planned for you. You're walking through it. You're telling yourself, I don't want it, but only God knows what your plans are. You're going to be walking through it. Walking through it. Ain't no telling who it is. But you saying, I don't want it. Right? But you are walking through your journey. And only God knows your journey. It's already set. You're walking it. But you're going there with an open eye. You're being still. You, you're learning from this. You're seeing how they talk to you. You're not going to say shit because you need to know. Because you are going to be huge. And I keep saying that. I can't stop saying it. And someone is coming to you with this passion. And you got this passion of what you do. It's not a passion of a romance. It's a passion of who you are and how you see yourself. You got this passion that's burning for what you're doing. It's almost like you are in love with your career. And I ain't going to say it's almost to me. I am in love with what I do. And that's why I work hard at what I do. Because I am in love with who I am. And in order for someone to come to me and be a part of me, they got to be in love with life. Okay? 
That's what they got to be in love with. They got to be in love with the universe for God because if they are in love with God, they can be in love with me. It won't be hard to fall in love with me if you know who you are and what you want. It won't be hard at all. Okay? It'll be easy to love me. All right? Because I am in love with life. I'm in love with nature. I am in love with giving. I am in love with receiving. I am in love with the truth. I am in love with being silent and being still. I am in love with me. And that is the gift. The gift is to love yourself, to believe in you, and to know that once you're in love with yourself, you see everything for what it is. You're not trying to question, fix things that were broken. You are fixing you and let everything else fix itself. All right? Do you understand? You cannot mold or fit something that don't fit. You need to look at you and only you. And the problem is that I keep hearing Pisces it says, well, I'm lonely. Really? But if you're lonely now, wait until tomorrow, honey, it's going to be worse. Because now you're still focusing on your needs. And you want it. Go ahead and screw somebody and see how they're going to screw you real good. But honey, I'm in love with me. And that's my challenge is to love me more than I can love anybody. And like I said, don't come with me being fake and you won't have a problem. All right? That's what I'm talking about. All right? Because what I see here, Pisces, you are huge. And you can be your own master. Because, and I'm telling you right now, this reading, I claim to top. Why? Because I am self-employed. And I know what I want. And I know that I'm going for it all the way because I got passion for what, for what I do. I'm in love with me. All right? And as far as I can see the horizon, it's long terms for me. Long. Long term. I won't stop. I won't stop to where I'm going. And when I'm going, I'm a legend of what? Of who I was meant to be. Do you understand? This is huge. They see you for who you are. They falling in love. They want to come to you. They want to know who you are. They want to know everything about you. Because there's something about you. That is, represents the boss. And you're walking in there like you own the motherfucker. Because you are going to be at an event. And then that's what people are going to be like. Whoa. I ain't seen you in a minute. Oh, I ain't seen you in years. Who are you? What's up? Or oh, someone may be coming with somebody saying, who is she? And it's saying you choosing from how you lived in your past to be who you are today. A better you. It's in the horizon. It's long terms, boo. This ain't short term, it's long term. You get better and better and better with the communication that you didn't have before. Why? Because you learn to be still and listen and look at the way people react towards you. Honey, ain't no way I'm going to go on stage and talk to thousands of people and be up there. No, I'm going to stand on stage and say, I cannot hear you. And they're going to go crazy. And then I'm going to say, I, do you want me to speak? Because you're screaming and I cannot speak. All right? And they're going to humble themselves. You're going to hear a penny drop on that floor. On that stadium, you're going to hear that penny drop. Why? Because I'm being straight to the point when I communicate to the world about what I believe. What I can do 
for you. On a long term, not a short term, but long. Huge. All right? Huge. Transformation. The eight, and that's the, the middle of your car, your whole reading. All right? The eight of what? Of air. Transformation, okay? Transformation is huge. All right? It's huge. Because now you're seeing you for who you are. All right? Then you got to 10, a fire. Got fire here, honey. So, you're, you're transformated, right? The time is coming. It's like a tower moment. Tower moment, right? And what it's saying is, send to find a life experience that requires the change to be made. It's something that has to be made. All right, in your life, choices, powerful, often unexpected revolution, breaking free from your from what you see you to be, releasing old beliefs and systems. So you gotta believe you got to break what it is this whoever it is or whatever it is it's your belief it's this tower moment that came down that's saying um maybe this person don't want the best for me maybe he's from a different country a different religion okay um this person had to come to a transformation to see that it's two different beliefs you can't make me be who I don't want to be. I can't, I'm not going to break my back to be who you want me to be. Okay? It's a transformation that had to take place. Because when you look at the tower, the tower means that, yeah, people look at it like the words, but it's Mars, right? It's a planet. So when it shifts, it shifts. All right? And it makes a change in your life. Or in the person's life, you wit or whatever, right? That they had to transformate to come right because we all maybe they don't believe in tarot card reading, all right? Maybe they think you wicked a witch or whatever, or maybe they didn't um um believe you know you they didn't want to stand in the truth, or they didn't want to give you the right to be who you are. Maybe they wanted to mold you. Maybe they had so much going on. But it seemed like everything came down on. And then God says, if you don't let it go, then guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it go. And God gave you the opportunity to walk away when you didn't want to walk away, but you had to. And not because you wanted to, because if you didn't do it, God was going to bring that tower down on you. All right? And you don't have a choice because that's the way he worked. He lets you do it on your own. But if you don't do it, then he brings it down. All right? If it has to happen, you can't avoid it. All right? So you got um the eight, right? You got the eight of what? Of air, right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person might have been there. I don't know. All right? But the need to move on. This person's walking out the door. All right? There go that moon. All right? And the dog is looking back. Because you know the dog is loyal. Loyal. All right? So the need to move on. Seek more from life than what you already experience. 
okay? A spirit spiritually guess. A spiritual guess. A spiritual guess. A spiritual guess is coming into you, all right? Choosing to make a big life change. Choosing to change your life because you're coming into your spirit and that's where you at, all right? This is the middle of where you are at, all right? This is that tower that had to come down on you, beliefs or whatever situation, whoever you with. Whatever they didn't believe in you, whether they from a different um, religion, whether you don't believe in them, they don't believe in you because you're two different people. You're talking about um, uh, maybe they didn't like the way you was. Or maybe you gave too much. Or it was time for this to happen. You couldn't escape it. All right? Or, um, but I see you walking away from all of something that was no longer serving you. Okay? And, um, a, a change in pursuing or making yourself first okay um what are your priorities what 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 are you putting first what is it what are you doing for you first um leaving home i feel like somebody had a tower moment Somebody had a tower moment. All right. To make a choice. And these people can be from different races, different, um, different from you. Y'all might be two different cultures, um, different, uh, different, um, Beliefs are uh, different cultures. Um, very different from you. Um, but something or someone tower came down on them. I feel like um, releasing their old beliefs sometimes people are in relationship because they got they say i gotta stay with this person i've been with this person 20 some years and i can't see myself leaving them or um a job or um something that you felt tied to that you did not want to move forward or from all right but this tower came down on this person Whoever it is, they ran out of time. And God made this shit fucking come down on them. All right? Now they sitting there saying, shit, I need to walk away from this, this person that wasn't good enough. Or they walking away from a situation to come to you. Or they feeling like, because this is an air sign. Um... They seeking more from what they were suspecting. They moving on from a situation that was not there for them. I feel like whoever this person was, whoever this person was, they're seeing you Doing your thing. Seeing you doing your thing. Growing. Being ambitious. Lighting up the world. Somebody here had a tower moment. And probably had was living with somebody. Was supporting someone else. Was doing too much. But wasn't doing enough for you. 
all right, or wanted to have you and have everything else, all right? And they said, well, shit, they walking away with what? With one cup, all right? And they left all the rest of the cups. But this cup in that bag that he's carrying has a flower in a cup. And whoever they walking away from, they scratching your head like, did I make the right decision? I'm walking away from my family. I'm walking away from somebody that I thought I loved. But for some reason, the dog looks back because the dog says, huh, the dog is someone that's going to love you regardless. The dog is going to be someone who's loyal to you, that stands by you. All right. I feel like they're walking away from someone that they really found out that wasn't loyal to them, that didn't want the best for them. That was that was draining them from their happiness. All right. Um, the need to move forward from this, to need to seek. Um, more from life than than what was suspected okay a spiritual guest has come into your life or in their life all right that's making them make this uh making this big um life change um and now they're making you their first priority and leaving who they was with to come to you. Even though they may seem kind of fucked up or going in and out of it of, do I want to leave this person or whatever, you know what I mean? But the spirit is telling them, it's time for you to make moves and get up out of that situation and be where you want to be. And this is huge for them because it's like this person worked too hard and work too many hours, all right? The need to balance in life. Let others help you. Health problem due to stress. So Pisces, what I see is somebody having a tower moment, walking away from something that did not serve them anymore. And it could be you or them. All right? Walked away from them. Right? Or this person feels like they had a time of moment that they're walking away from their family and people that they thought they loved them, that did not love them, that worked hard. All right? They stressed out over it, working too many hours. All right, um, but the need to get help from someone else that's coming into your life and whoever's coming into your life, and I'm telling you, whoever's coming into your life is someone that has made a big transformation in their life. The tower came down on them, and what it did, it only came down to build them back up to learn lessons from it, right? And that's what they did. And then they walking away from everybody that they thought that was going to be good to them or that was serving them right. But then they realized, ah, I'm working too hard for this. I work too hard and um, I'm here stressed out. I feel sick because I'm working too much. And they walking into your life at the right time. All right? Um, because they sitting there, look at that. All right, look, look at this, tower, tower. 
all right tower this is a beautiful castle they lived in this is believing that they had everything going on right they believed that they had it all going on but the tower came down transformation and here it says in any other card deck it says the tower and you see things falling down but this is a transformation because your time is up god gave you enough time to leave or stay you have the right to do that because god said are you going to leave from this or are you going to stay what you going to do all right and then you're sitting there scratching your head and the dog is looking back and the door you're walking through the door walking out the door you're walking away from things that no longer served you that wasn't good for you that didn't want the best for you had you stressed the fuck out all right so now you're looking at yourself like saying damn i had to walk away from this because it wasn't serving me right i had to walk away from it um what was it bringing to me nothing nothing but drama right um then you look at yourself and you say um I don't know. Uh, you're walking away from it all. I'm sorry. This is the cups. Um, a, a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Walking away from something, honey. Making a huge transformation in your life. All right? And it's saying because you're very spiritual and we are. So... That spirit is kicking in you because you're loyal, Pisces. You are loyal and you was loyal to this person. You was loyal to whatever, whoever it is, all right? And it's saying by you walking away from this, okay, um, you got to understand that you have a challenge, a decision to make the problem is you're not making it the sense of being paralyzed keeping you from moving forward and only your intentions that are overwhelming you are feeling it's your feelings is what's overwhelming you if the need to do further research then do it but do it now the time has come to choose so that you can process something dream a daydream about a situation can offer can offer insight but it's not helping if you're if your angels are guiding you okay um it's not helping you if you don't um eventually take action on it because the angels are guiding you. This cup is featuring in the, in this cup is telling you that you can accomplish by the colors of the chakra system where you, where your eyes are drawing. The information can help guide you. The chakras represent everything in this car. All right? All right. The purple, the purple represent spiritual. The dark blue, okay, is your physical ability and your vision. All right? All right? Um, the light blue, all right, is your communication and your trust. The green, your heart and your healing. The yellow, the power and the control, all right? The orange, creativity, okay? Addictions and sexual, the orange, all right? The orange. So you're leaving something that you was addicted to. 
and it could be anything, all right? In the red, it's your money and your security, all right? And confusion, wishing, thinking, fantasizing, the need to gain focus, over analysing too much um too much uh options addictions this is the empress can help you take action when you feel um like in a standstill ask the art gabrielle to increase your emo uh, motivation and create to help you to get moving again so whatever tower moment you had all right you had that tower moment for what to make you aware to teach you that it had to happen because you're not accepting it it's like you oh you know it's not right but you still standing there because you are adopted yourself to being in a, in a situation that is not serving you. All right? It's not serving you. It's crazy that you're still sitting there not serving. It's not serving you. It's not, it's not making you happy. It's draining you out of everything, out of your money. It's like you are addicted to... It's like, it's crazy. It's like, um, you in your spirit, you know what the spirit is telling you to do, all right? You know your psychic abilities because you're seeing it for what it is, right? The communication, you're trying to communicate, but if you're communicating with somebody that, that can't understand anything you're saying and is sitting there like he's stupid and can't see the light for what it is or trying to play you out, because you're feeling like you need to heal from this shit. Let it go. But you're loving, you're trying to heal from it. You're stuck there, right? You can have the power to control it. But do you want to control it? It's the question, right? Because you're very creative and they know you are. But you're addicted to sex with them you addicted to <coughs> excuse me you are addicted to whatever you got used to being around them being in a family having somebody because Pisces y'all not really into people so now you're addicted to being in events with them doing things with them oh you see them like oh they you know going to places with them well you know good and damn well that's an addiction that you have with the person. But they're draining you out of every fucking thing. But you don't see it. Okay? And they're really draining you out of your money and your security. And you're not seeing this shit. And that's crazy to me. Crazy. So I know this shit ain't me. Because I ain't into this shit. And if <clears throat> they think that that's me, honey. I ain't, no, 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 no. That's not me. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. That is not me. Because I ain't for that type of shit. I ain't for no abuse. For no fucking body. I'm living good by my damn self. I don't need to be with no damn body. I am okay with me. All right? And I mean that shit. I don't want to be with somebody that don't want me. And want to drain me off of everything. No, no, no. Go somewhere else. Do that shit somewhere else. Don't do it with me. Because look at you. Okay? You're working too hard. You may be nearly exhausted to the point that even the smallest thing makes you choke or cause you to leech out to others. Like you so fed up with the shit that you just getting mean and nasty okay and now you're showing your true colors because you're gonna let them know all right but you acting real nasty all right this can be 
due to working multiple jobs or to um, making everything um, complex, complicated, or responsible at work and at home. Um, it um, is telling you that you're not balanced. It's making the list of all your responsibility and not finding time enough to even embrace it. You need to take a break and make um, sure that you are getting enough sleep. This car can also indicate health problems that comes from overworking or being exhausted, stress, taking care of yourself. You need to take care of yourself. Honey, this is for a person that don't even spend enough time in their own house. Your house look a mess because you always, someone else is draining the fuck out of you. That's crazy. So you go to work, you overwork, and then you turn around going to somebody's house, not even take care of your own fucking house. Your house look a fucking mess because you're too busy trying to fucking make somebody else happy. And you know that they're draining you out of everything, your money, your time, your energy, your essence, everything. All right. Um, all all work and no play, being weighed down by too much demands, the need to balance life, calling upon others for help. All right. You got people draining you the fuck out, honey. All right, pulling you every which way. All right, making it, everything seem like everything is peaches and cream when it's not. All right. Because they don't even see. Or you're the type of person that know, don't know how to say no to people. And then what you do is you put the weight on yourself. And even if they say, look, here's $100 towards what you just did. You don't even want to accept it. That's stupid of you. But you want to act like you got it all going on to, to please other people. And that ain't cool. All right? You want to help them. And they ain't helping you. All right? So, well, to, um, okay, so... Your ego, okay, will tell you that you must work very hard and not ask for assistance. Your ego, who, your pride, all right? Allow Art Michael to set you free from false beliefs, all right? So, um, I'm going to tell you right now, sweetie. Let me tell you something right now about your car. You are this. Okay, your first card says dwell on the truth. You know you got it popping. You know you do. All right? Now, you're coming into something fast coming at you, but everything that's coming at you is good because you're confident in what you do. And it's something in a relationship that wants to come to you with a passion. For me, it's my career. And the sky's the limit because I know my shit is long term because I will not stop until I get it all right, all right? And I will never get it right because there's always another door that's going to open for me to make it right. But that's me. That's where you're at, right? Confident, secure, and all that, all right? But then you come into this tower that's telling you, slow the fuck down, man. What is wrong with you? you God is saying if you don't let go of what you know that ain't right for you, I'm going to make it happen. And since you didn't want to do it, God said, I'll do it for you. So he made a tower come down, right? And then what you do is you're walking away because you was loyal to this person. You gave this person everything you had to give, all right? You worked hard. You you gave them, put them you, you did everything for them. Why? Because you felt like you had to. In the meantime, they're draining the fuck out of you. They're draining you out of your money, out of your essence, out of your emotions, everything. Your, your house look a mess because you're probably always at their house. All right? Your life is all going crazy because it's too much going on. You got too much going on. You're dealing with their family issues, people that you ain't got no business dealing with because that ain't none of your business, but you're making it your business. All right? 
So when you get there, you feel like you're sucking to everything else. But in another shape, you're doing everything for everybody else. So you're sucking to everything, but you're making it put all this weight on you that you are providing for everybody else, which is so dumb. It's stupid that you want to give out everything you got for somebody that don't even deserve you, that don't want shit from you. Okay, they want to use and abuse you that you don't know how to get away from. That you feel like you are, it's the devil connecting you to them. And you're dealing with all this shit. Sex. You're addicted to, oh, I need to have sex with them. Okay? They ain't giving you shit. They ain't bringing nothing to the table. But everybody else, your spirits, is telling you walk away from this shit. But you so hooked onto them that you try to find the best in the situation. Oh, when they do this, you're walking, you're taking care of them. You stupid. You're dumb. Okay? You think you can make them better, you're not. All right? And this is every situation in your life. You think you can make shit better, but you're not. You incapable people. To do nothing for themselves because they depend on you for everything. And this can be any fucking body. All right? Your kids, your job. All right? People you sleep with that you can't get rid of. And you can't get rid of them because you are taking care of everything. Putting the money to them. Is, and they, how about you? You making sure they business is running right. You making sure they got what they want. But are they giving you everything you giving them? No. All right? Because you are addicted to everything about them, which is dumb. And none of that shit is me. All right? And now, you don't work so fucking hard in so many hours. You put a lot of hours in your job, then you got to deal with going to their house. You, your shit is fucked up. Okay? Um, and you need to balance your life. You need to let other people help you because you're going to be so stressed out, you're going to wind up in a hospital with all the fucking problems you're bringing into yourself when all you got to do is let go of these motherfuckers. But you, I don't know what situation you in, but um, that shit ain't me. I mean, the top is, but this shit here, and I hope nobody's coming to me with bullshit because I ain't, I ain't with it. I ain't with that shit, all right? I don't know where y'all at, but wherever y'all at, it shows me right here that y'all being used and abused, all right? Used and abused. What is coming out from this when you walk away from shit that don't serve you, that don't want nothing for your dumb ass? And I'm going to call you a dumb ass. Because you are dumb right about now. Dumb. And take what belongs to you in this reading. But I'm, a, I, I'm not even there. And that's the middle of your reading. That's where you at. Play me please. I hope all prices get out of that shit. Because that shit ain't right. And then falling in love or, okay, or a, rom a romance relationship. Forgetting, forgiving, forgiveness, and ending a challenge. It's changing gift. Don't give up on people you love. And that is a relationship. All right? A relationship. So whatever you was in or whatever this person's doing to you, is showing you not giving up and falling in love. Okay? Research of this romance relationship, forgiveness, and ending a challenge. Okay? It's change and give. Don't give up on people you love. All right? So you is changing cups. That means it's a give and take. All right? Which level are you on? I don't know. Um... Here, the queen, 
okay, the queen of what? A fire. Somebody that don't even fucking play. She don't play. Okay, very talented, dependable, controlling. There's nothing you can't do. Believing in yourself, never understanding your ability to make your dreams come true. Um, the need to balance between career and personal life. The need to give and take. The need for you to see it and balance shit. Because you that bitch that won't... <laughs> you the bitch, honey. You the one that when you walk in the room, everybody look at you. You the bitch that don't, you don't tolerate bullshit. You to the point. You're very sexy, fiery. All right? But you want to balance this relationship. You want to... You want to make sure it's right, all right? Because now here, you got everybody on you here. Who did you pick? The highest priest. Who that is, is you. It's you. You the consultant. You the one to tell people what they need to know, all right? You the one that look at shit for what it is. You know what it is. You are in tune with yourself. All right? You got everything in front of you. Every damn thing. The sun, the moon, the cross, everything. You so in tune. You're so spiritual. You know for a fact. You know if they're lying to you. And guess what? You're very quiet about it. You're quiet about this. All right? This is you union with a spiritual minded community. You are around people that are very spiritual. All right? Yes. And there's a community of people like you, like my Pisces studio. All right? Ask the divine to help you to trust the answers that you want to come to you. Compare the trades with new ideas and see which is best for you. So, okay. You got choices to make here. All right. You seeing shit for what it is. All right. You got choices. You're wise. It's about a relationship. It's about a relationship that you're going to have to make a choice because you've seen it for what it is. You know what it is. You're wise. You, you, for some reason, I feel like you feel like this person has a lot of secrets. And they're trying to be secretive about it, but your intuitions are not lying to you. You know, you, you're looking at it like, yeah, they're trying to balance shit. They're trying to be right. It's a give and take. Yeah, they might be giving you everything you want, but for some reason you still feel like it's secrets there that are not being revealed to you. All right? Um, it's showing you, it's you're in your head about it. Um, this is the four of 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 um fire. All right, it's saying failing to recognize. The magical opportunities. Missing the point. The distraction on a daily life. You're, okay? A discommitment or a border. Or like you bored. Lost in your own world. Wake up. Wake up, honey. Because your intuitions are telling you. But somebody is offering you this magic opportunity, all right? Because you're like you like disconnecting from your daily life. You're missing a point about this, all right? Um, you're lost in your own world, like you are just disconnecting from the world. Um, I feel like somebody 
wants to come to you. This is good. It's, it's a relationship, but they see you as you are everything, everything to them. They see you beautiful. They see you like you got it going on. They see you that you're fiery. They see you sexy. They see everything in you. This person is seeing everything in you. But you, like Pisces, in tune with your spirits. In tune like you're feeling like this person's not telling you all the truth. Um, Being quiet, being to yourself. Got the answers for it all because you're very spiritual. You got, you're walking through all the information and it's all spiritual. You're walking with the truth. You got the keys to the answers. This is the yin and the yang. You're balancing things. Okay, you got ideas. You're seeing it for what's going to be best for you. All right? But you're so into you that it's almost like you... Like, you got a lot of... Um, it's like you falling into this pattern and like, it's like you got a lot of opportunities, magic opportunities looking at you, okay, but you're missing a point and why? Because you're in it, you're, it's like, it's this like, you are making this wrong decision, it's like, does it make any sense to you? It's like you putting everything because you are the highest priestess, and that's you. It's you, Pisces. You are in tune with yourself. You're very spiritual. What you believe is what you believe. And once you got it in you, it's like it's hard for somebody to make you see it their way because they can't get you out of that. Once you believe and once you feel in your heart that something ain't right, something ain't right, it ain't right. And can't nobody take that from you because you're sitting there quiet and you're listening. You're trying to make sense of this. Okay? Does it, does it make sense what they did? Does it make sense what they're saying? Are they being true? Because you're looking at it like, uh-uh, my intuition how I felt before. Whatever you knew about this situation, you know it. You know it in your heart. And if they lie to you, you're going to see right through them. Because you know, and that means if they're lying and not telling you the truth, if they lying about that, and you know what you know, you know that, ah, I don't know if I want to get into that with you no more. Because you are recognizing the, the, the filing and the recognition rec, of this opportunity that's coming your way. It's like you're failing to recognize a magical opportunity that you're missing a point on. All right? It's like you're being distracted from your daily life and you're missing a point on what someone is trying to tell you. All right? You don't want to recognize it. But it's a magical opportunity that's coming your way. All right? Because you're being distracted from your everyday life. You di um you just um encounterment or you're bored or the loss of your own world. You need to wake up. It's an opportunity that's coming your way. And it's beautiful. It's someone that's coming to you that's going to be balanced, that wants the best for you. And they see you like you the shit. And you got it going on. But you still got this little way about you. You sexy. You appealing to them. They want you. They love you. They want to love you. But it's like once you made up your mind in this, it's, it's, it's in your beliefs. It's who you are. You're the highest priest. It's like you the shit. 
Like they can't change who you are. They can't. Maybe at one time they tried, but they can't now. And they know that you got the answers coming to you from the divine. And it's asking you to trust the answers that will come to you. And it's going to be for your best interest. All right? So, but you got to acknowledge this person. Right? Because you're going to miss an opportunity. And it's going to be beautiful. Like, you're going to miss on a relationship if you don't get your shit right. And stop being stubborn. All right? Now, you're reading here. Let me go to it from the door. You the bomb. You got it going on. Somebody is coming to you with this love, passion, and relationship. All right? They fly to you. The night of fire. All right? And like the you, you, like the horizon, baby, this is the four, the three of fire, earth. You're going to be moving. This is a long-term, a long-term career for you, okay, in abundance from a past choice. Somebody is coming back to you, and you may think that that person is not going to be loyal and it's not going to want the best for you. But they working hard to come to you. Okay? But you got to know that you got to look at this with an open mind. Because you're like on looking at you like, uh-uh, you're not taking a loss. You're not playing no more. But it's somebody that's coming to you that is like you that wasn't like you before. And I'm keep, I'm going to keep saying it. I don't know who this is for, but this is really, really somebody that was not right for you in your past. That you didn't see no growth or nothing that was wearing you the fuck out. But they seem like you the bomb. And guess what? They're coming to you fast with everything in this fiery sexy they come to you fast all right they looking at you they want to be a part of you but you have to make a choice about this all right and it's a choice it's like your pride and it's like you work so hard at where you at all right, but you got to make a choice. A long plan abundance from a past choice. You got to make a choice because God is giving you. All right, for this person to come to you, he had a tower moment. He had a tower moment. All right. He had to walk away from people that didn't serve him, people that didn't want the best for him, people that was using him, all right? Yes, and that was you, because that's, that's why y'all two wasn't together, right? But now, what you went through, he's going through, right? Because now he see that he's working hard as hell, all right? And these people didn't even give a fuck about him. He's working all these hours and all of this. But whoever he's walking away from did not serve him any good. All right? And it stressed him out to the point that he's so stressed he could be getting sick. And, and I'm going to tell you something. It could be either or. You could be coming into a tower moment. Walking away from shit that didn't serve you no more. Didn't want nothing from you. All right? But you still got one cup that you walking with. Yourself, your spirit, who you are. Right? Because you worked hard and you're working too hard for this. If you got to work too hard at being with somebody, let that motherfucker go. 
All right, let it go. That's too much work. Love don't have to be that hard. And if that person's walking away from something that he just went through, walking away from a family, a situation, whatever it was, or people that he thought that were serving him for the best and all they was doing was kicking off dirt on him, all right? And he seemed like he worked too hard for them and this person didn't see him or that person, he's got to make a decision and you got to make a decision. Either way, somebody got to make a decision to walk away from something that is no longer good for them. That is stressing them out. All right? I'm trying to put it on levels where everybody can understand where it fits you. Either they walking away from somebody to come back to you, okay? Or they're working too hard with a relationship to try to balance you and them, but something is not going right because they, you can't give to two different people. Motherfucker, your money ain't that damn large. All right? You can't cater to two different families. You can't be here and want to be here. You can't do that. You got to find out what you want to do. All right? You need to know because you're stressing with your job. You're stressing in a relationship. You're tired working. You're tired giving. The whole bottom is somebody tired of doing a lot of shit. And that ain't me because I'm not there. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to be with somebody that is training me. That don't want nothing for me. And then I got to take care of you. Your bullshit ass friends. Your bullshit ass family. All that shit on me. Alright. Nah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. People kicking my back in. People talking shit. I'm working hard. But they fucking on. Hating on me. Nah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I don't know where you at. But this ain't me. At all. Because. Where I'm at. I'm my own boss. And yeah, I'm going to the party. And yeah, I'm doing this. Honey, I, that's not, none of this right here is me. That ain't me at all. At all. No. Uh-uh, I've been walked away from that shit a long time ago. That's why I'm single and I can mingle with any fucking body I want. Because I got any choices I want to make. And I'm going to work hard for me. Okay? I'm not working hard for nobody else. All right, so, <clears throat> but then, <coughs> this is me, all right, what's coming, because, yeah, I want this, I want love, I want somebody to give and take, I don't want nobody using me, I want somebody that's going to love me and balance me, got the same shit I got going on, all right, and then, you're damn right, because I'm fire, I'm hot, I'm sexy, Okay, and I got it going on. And that's you. And you don't play. You would say, fuck you and walk away. Because you don't give a damn. This person here is something else. All right? This queen of um, fire ain't the one to play with. All right? She's the bomb. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. You got... Gemini Libra Aquarius wants to come to you because they see you like the hottest thing moving. They they see you like you popping the fuck off. They want to offer you love. All right? And what? But you are stuck in, oh, but I know, and I remember, and I don't know, and I'm scared, but I already know. I know these secrets. I know, you know, always in you because you know what you know because you're in tune. You know, you ain't stupid. The spirit is guiding you and it's leading you to the right place. All right. You are, they looking at you like you are spiritual. You know what you know. They can't play with you. You're to the point. You ain't the one. You sharp with your mouth. You sharp sexy. You know who you are. You stand for the truth. That's what they know. And that's what they see. All of this is you, right? But look at you. Don't miss the point. Stop acting like you're so dreamy and like you disconnected to the world that you're missing this opportunity 
that somebody wants to come and love you. And you're being stuck on being stuck. On who? On you and your small world. And that also can be me. Because I'm so into my career. Okay? I may be missing the point of what they're saying to me. Because it got to make sense to me. Right? And if it's somebody you already know. Boy, I might say, I remember when he was this and that. Mm, I don't, uh-uh. But that person that I remember, he was this and that, and I'm making all these faces, is the one that got it all going on. Because it's someone you knew. It could be a friend. It could be the past. It could be whatever. But it's someone you knew that you need to stop, okay, labeling people and giving someone a chance. Because if not, you're going to miss on an opportunity that was at one point was horrible to you. Horrible. Horrible. You have to walk away from this shit. Horrible. Like you don't even want to have shit to do with. And I don't know. I feel like. To make this to the point. It's like you are in your dean. You're doing your thing. You, you're high. You're mighty. You, you look at people and looking at you. You are huge. Okay. Um, people are taking your advice. People are looking at you like you the shit. All right. But then. For some reason, you got into this tower moment or they're in a tower moment, cross watch or whoever, and they got to make a decision to walk away from people, places, and things that didn't serve them because it seems to me like y'all wasn't together. And while y'all wasn't together, this person was enjoying life and they realized, whoa, it's a tower moment here. And everybody that they thought was right wasn't right. And they were stressing them out, overworking them probably. They was taking care of this person. They never did shit for you, but they did it all for them. Ain't that some shit? They probably never, they never did nothing for you, but they did everything else for everybody else. And now they see that they was only being used. Okay? And now they see that that tower came down and they see that, hey, I, I got to walk away from this shit. I got to look for my Pisces. I got to look for something good. All right? Because they know that you work hard just like they do. But they was too busy giving to everybody else. They didn't want to give you shit. And now they working hard to keep these people happy. Or keep this individual happy. Okay? Or maybe they thought that they could build something with a person. Or that person had their best interest. Or that person was saying, we're going to do this. and we gonna... But all they was doing was taking their money. All right? Using them. Abusing them. And that's what your ass get when you fuck with a Pisces. And you think you can walk away and use a Pisces. Now the shit come back to you. And you don't like it. All right? You see what it is? You don't like what you're going to get. All right? Because that's what happens when you fuck with a Pisces. You want to use us, abuse us, okay? Um, cheat on us. All kinds of dumb shit. Lie on us. Tell people lie about us. All right? All that. But now you see that the same motherfucker you was talking shit to about me or Pisces, now they use your fucking ass, abuse you, Right? And you gave them everything they wanted, but you couldn't give me shit. Let me make that clear. You gave them everything they wanted, but you didn't give me shit. Because I'm that old bitch, right? Oh, you this and you that. Go ahead, get you a young bitch. Let them use your fucking ass. Because guess who's the old one now? You. Guess who's abusing you? They are. Guess who you working hard for? Them. Everything you thought about me, now you doing it. Go ahead with your young panties. Go ahead with your young whatever. Have them. Because anywhere you go, you're going to make sure you take care of them. Because ain't no bitch going to fuck you for free. And they ain't going to give you shit for free. But you damn sure got it from us. All right? And now you see that they working your ass to the bone. And fucking stressing you the fuck out. Because you seem like you tied up with this motherfucker that you are hooked on to them. All right? Yeah. 
That's the way you're supposed to be. Hooked on to motherfuckers that don't want the best for you. That's how you had me. I woke up and smelled the coffees and said, fuck you. I drink to that. I have to let chaos go. All right? You can't come to my door without, without nothing. You can't come like that to me no more. You can't come and try to play me out. You can't do that no more. And that's why I see this last line right here. What's going to happen, what's coming with this tower that they're going through. What's coming to you is they want to come and offer you the world. Somebody do. They see you like hot. It could be somebody from the past. It could be somebody you know before that you didn't even date. They're seeing you again. All right. But they coming to offer you something. All right. And because they see you sexy, hot, ambitious, fiery, to the point. You ain't taking no cuts. You ain't playing no more. All right. But Pisces, this is you. Why? Because you are in tune with your spirits. You are in tune with yourself. You already know what you've been through. You don't want to go through that no more. All right? You can see through a person. Maybe you look at this person that you knew from back in the day or whatever. And that person, like, you know that motherfucker ain't shit. Like, you knew that he, like, cheating on motherfuckers. You knew that he wasn't about his money. You knew that he ain't had shit going on. You knew that um, he played you. Whatever you knew. You knew. You know. Okay? So that's what's in your head. But in the mix of all of that, whatever this person wants to offer you, and they come in with an offer, they want you. They want to talk to you. They're looking at you like everything, but you stuck in the knowing what it was or what you see in a person. Your intuitions don't lie. You know their secrets. When they don't know you know their secrets, you know it. Ha! That's the shit to know. You know? Right. So, you got the four cups, but you got two cups sitting there, and you got all of this coming to you. All of this. They want to offer you shit, but you are stuck in this um, failing to recognize a magical opportunity. This coming in wealth and growth. All right? Why? Because you missing a point. You missing a point in this relationship that's coming to you. You already labeling this shit. Relax. Take it easy. Right? Um, And you're disconnecting. It's like you <clears throat> disconnecting or distraction from... Your duties that you do every day in your life. It's like this person want to offer you something, but you being distracted from probably me doing YouTube's readings, you talking to you, that I'm distracted from somebody that's trying to come my way that wants the best for me. And it's doing the same thing I'm doing, but I'm labeling this person like they're not good enough when they are, okay? So you got to stop that, right? And it's saying... Um, discommitment or discontentment, right? Or bored. You got too much time in your hand. You think it's about what the, oh, I'm bored. I don't know what to do. Oh, let me see. Did you missing what is being offered to you? The opportunity, all right? Lost in your own world. It's time for you to wake up. Because this magical opportunity is coming to you. And it's coming in a form of a relationship. This person sees you like everything. Fiery. But you, the highest priest, know it all. In tune. Okay? You know it. You've you, you seen this. And you don't believe shit they saying to you. Because you know all their secrets. All their secrets. All of it. And whether they think you're wrong, no, you're right. You're right. But you're missing the opportunity they want to offer you something new. Right? Because why? Because you're disconnected and you're missing the point 
you so busy doing you that you're missing out on everything. And at the same time, you're sitting in the house bored by yourself, okay? It's time for you to wake up. Come out of your home and go out into the world and explore what this opportunity is that this person wants to give you. And stop looking at them like they got four heads. All right? Because just because you went through trauma with, with them and you don't believe in them no more don't mean <clears throat> that they're not getting their shit right. They had to because the same way they did you is the same way they're doing them. All right? Did you get what I said? Did you get it? What level are you on in this? Fit it where it fits. If you want to know more about this person, don't call me up and tell me. Oh, what do you think? Like this lady, call me. Listen to me. I'm not Jesus. I can't feed you through no. You need to get a private reading from me or somebody else. Or do what you got to do. All right? This is a general reading. Pick what fits you and let the shit go. Whatever don't. But don't call me being messy. <clears throat> you want to know about this person, that person in your life. You got, well, then you need to get private readings. From whoever you want to get it from. Because I cannot tell you. I cannot see your future. I'm not God. I'm not a, a musician. I'm not someone that can boom. If that's the case, I'll fix me. And I will have everybody lined up. And I won't have to look at none of this shit. Alright? Stop being cheap. And get your private readings from whoever you want. And get it right. Because that's the only way you're going to figure point shit. All right? And for that, I say I gotta go. See you later. And I'm gonna say it again. That middle part ain't me. It's them. Because it ain't me. Because I'm not confused. I let that shit go. I'm on some new shit. All right? I'm in love with me. All right? I have to make that clear. Cross watchers. All right? I'll talk to y'all later. I love you. Bye.